Welcome to this edition of Tornado Watch. I'm Sports Information Director Travis Chell here with men's soccer player Pete Griffith. How are you doing this morning? Doing well, how are you? Good. Uh, last week went 2-0, a couple of conference road wins. Um, how nice is it not only to get wins in conference, but coming on the road this late in the season? Yeah, uh, I think the wins have been coming. Um, we'll be playing some fantastic soccer this season. Um, we we'll always haven't just had the, the final pass or the final ball into the net, um, which has cost us a lot of results. But um, you know, we've, we haven't we haven't lost in our last three, and we're on a good run of form. Um, so the last <coughs> the last two results we've had have just been they've been coming. Um, we'll be playing a good standard, and we're finally starting to just click in the final third and get the goals that we deserve. Yeah, and then this last push, you know, kind of vaulted you up. We're sitting in fifth place in the Conference Carolina standings. Um, how, what has that push been like? And now, you know, it looks like we're probably going to be in the conference tournament here for after missing it last year, you know. Yeah, uh, a lot of sore feelings after <laughs> last year. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think um, right as of right now, we're just trying to, you know, win out the last couple of games of the season, get the best seed that we can um, for the tournament, um, and just keep the run of form going. Um, what's been a building year. And, and the team's really progressed as the year's gone on. Um, and the last few results are just showing that's kind of, you know, we're getting the rewards for that's paying off dividends for us now. So um, there's no reason why we can't keep this on the form going and, and have a really good shot at the tournament. Yeah, nice to see all that work finally paying off here Absolutely. at the end of the year. Uh, offensively last week, Ryan Cobain and Joseph Ekin also scored all four goals, and Ekin also also had an assist. Talk about how the offense has kind of you know stepped up the last couple of weeks, and those two in particular this week. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean, the whole offensive side of our team. There's a lot of young players in there. Um, all our seniors are in the back line. Um, I think there's four, five, six players going forward that are freshmen mm -hmm. this year. So they've just been outstanding this year. You know, they've really <clears throat> they've come in with a job to do. Um, they've, they've taken a little bit of time just to get to know each other, the way each other plays. Um, Guys like Murphy, Chris Hicks. Chris Hicks has played every minute, every game for us. You know, he's been fantastic in there. Murphy's just been um, amazing at getting stuff going. Um, I think it just took them a, a while, you know, get to know each other and, and to just play comfortably with each other. Um, Kobe and Joe have started finishing the last couple of weeks. Um, this is just a little thing we've been missing. So yeah. it's looking really good for us. Um, going into the last couple of games, it's, it's exciting. And defensively, you mentioned you know pretty pretty veteran group defensively, except except the goalkeeper with the freshman in Kari. How is he, how, what's it like playing in front of him, and how has he progressed this year as a freshman? Yeah, Kari's fantastic. Um, King's always had a great tradition of goalkeepers since I came in my freshman year with players like Richie Masters, Justin Morell, Patrick Wilfeld, Webb Cam. You know, came in. Um, unfortunately, he was injured this year, but playing in front of him last year, and, um, it's always been fantastic. Um, the goalkeeper has always been a real stalwart of our defence um, and Kari's no different. Um, it's been clear to see, you know, he's progressed this year, he's got more comfortable in that role as he had to step up, you know, when can injure his thumb. Um, but I just think it's fantastic to have, you know, two, keep, two goalkeepers of that quality um, that can push each other and just demand the best out of each other because, you know, they're never too comfortable in their own spot because they've always got one breathing down their neck. So, um, yeah, Kari's been fantastic. Um, Great player and exciting things to come from him, I'm sure, over the next couple of years, especially. Yeah, it's nice to have competition anywhere on the field. Uh, now, this week, final two games of the regular season on the road against Trevec and Nazarene in Nashville <coughs> on Tuesday, and then at home in Vermont all of one on Sunday. Uh, what are, what are, what's it look like for this week, and what, what are the expectations? Yeah, um, <coughs> Trevec is a tough little team, and we got a 1 0 result against them last year. Um, it was a good battle, so I'm sure they'll be out for revenge. Yeah. Um, but we're up for it. Um, Obviously, we're away on the road to Trevega um, and then back home for Mount Olive. So, like I said, we've got you know a bit of a win streak going now, a um, bit of a run of form going. The, even the couple of games before, um, the last you know the games we've just won, we've been playing really well. And, um, I think team morale is good. It's, we're confident going into the last few games, and I think it'll be a good end of the season. And then the last game on all of here at home is also Senior Day, your last game, yeah. probably here on on at Parks Field. What do you think the emotions are going to be like going up there for the last time with the ceremony and then just playing the last game here? Yeah, I mean, I have, I have a lot of memories up there at Parks. Uh, the last four years have been uh, some great triumphs, some great victories, and there's been some tough times as well. Um, but you know, that's what builds you as a man, that's what builds character. Um, I'm thankful for the experiences we've had here and the opportunity I've been given. Um, but yeah, it'll be, it'll be a great day, you know, it'll be an emotional day, I'm sure, for the senior boys. and. Um, we just want to go out here, you know, enjoy the last day for the soccer and, and get the win and get a better run of form going into the tournament. Just enjoy, you know, that's what we're here to do, you know, here to win, here to have, to enjoy the sport we love. Um, we're just thankful for the opportunity to do that, so 
Yeah, just really looking forward to it. All right, thank you and good luck this week and enjoy everything on Saturday. Thank you, appreciate it.